Good morning guys, welcome back. We are here for another one. We are down at the farm today. As you know, we had to put my partner down a couple of months ago, uh, Bounty God Rest His Soul. Uh, that was a very difficult time for my family and I. Now, I was looking for a chocolate lab or, or a black lab for hunting ducks. Jen wanted a German Shepherd. Um, I also wanted a German Shepherd as well. Uh, simply to protect the household when I'm not home, when I'm at work on nights. At least there's somebody there to rip somebody apart other than my wife. We kept our eye open almost immediately because quality dogs are hard to find. We weren't actively looking. However, we were just keeping our eyes open. So as you may or may not know, the price of dogs is astronomical. Um, and when you get a puppy, you don't know whether you're getting a, a one that's gonna be a good one or one that's gonna grow up and be a uh, handful. And we absolutely did not wanna go the puppy route. I like my sleep. I don't like to be woken up four times during the night. Somebody else to go to the bathroom. But as we waited and waited and waited and looked and looked and looked, as luck would have it, we did find one. Uh, he is a a bruiser. He's a uh, awesome looking dog. He would no doubt rip you apart in a second and that's exactly what I want. I have no problem going to work and leaving him home to protect the household. He's a natural born killer. Have a look. How you doing buddy? Folks, this is Diesel. Yeah, you all remember what I said about the puppy stage? How could we not grab this little guy? All right, folks, so this is Diesel. Diesel is a German Shepherd Lab mix. I've got no, no issue with mixed bred dogs. Some of them are the best dogs you're gonna get. But this guy here, he's looking a little dark inside the truck here. Let's get him outside. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. There he is. All right, so Diesel's never been to the pond before. Diesel's three months old. Uh, we've had him for about a month. He's starting to sleep through the night, which is good. Like I said, I don't like getting up in the middle of the night. He's looking more like a German Shepherd than a lab. His ears may or may not stand up. Makes no difference to me. Uh, we'll see what we can do with him. So I got him here at the pond. We're gonna see if he likes the water. Sorry, you guys are all dark there. We're gonna see if he likes the water, because he's, Never been around water. But this is where we're gonna teach him to swim. So as you can see, I'm at the shallow end of the pond over here, because he's only got those little legs. Diesel, hey, you wanna go for a swim? You wanna go swimming? Let's take him for a walk. All right guys, one thing to keep in mind when you're starting to train a new puppy is their attention span is limited. Hey, bah, come on, let's go. Uh, they're very curious. This is a brand new place to him. So he's not gonna be overly confident here. Get him down there where you can see the water. The other thing we're gonna make sure we do when we leave here is go over him from head to toe, top to bottom for ticks. Uh, he is now venturing down near the water. Uh, pro tip number one, when you want your dog to go in the water, don't force him in the water. Don't traumatize him. Um, I'm not too sure I want him to get all wet and get back in my truck just yet, but never mind. he's in the water. Hey, what are you doing? Like I said, no need to force them in the water. If they want to go in, they go in. You start throwing your dog in the water or picking them up, carrying them in and dropping them off, you're going to scare them, you're going to traumatize them. It may take them a long time before he gets back in there. Let them play. Let them look around. Let them have some fun. Hey, he got in a little deep there and realized that, but he's trying to pull the weeds out. So we just let him have a little bit of fun here. What are you doing, buddy? Get in there, buddy. Get in there. Get him. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. All you gotta do is encourage him. Good boy. <laughs> Folks, this is really his first time around the water like this. Good boy. There he goes. Good boy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. That a boy. That a boy. That a boy. That a boy. How was that? 
How was that? And one more thing, folks, when you're trying to get your puppy to come back to you, I mean, they're learning their name, they're learning everything. They have no idea what anything means and they're not coming back. Don't go to them, okay? The exact opposite, run away from them. Have their toy in your hand, throwing it up and down, make a big commotion, call them and run the other way. They'll chase you down. He is getting much better at coming to us when we call him. But right there, he was more interested in something else on the side of the trail. So what did I do? Threw his ball up in the air, threw his ball down the trail here, and ran away from him calling his name. And here he is. So uh, rather impressive. He just jumped in the water there and away he went. He gets too far out there and gets tired. This dude's got to go get wet. But this is his first trip to the pond, and uh, I couldn't be more happier. And now he may not be aware, but his training's already started. So this is his introduction to water. He's doing fairly well. Um, got to remember at this age, folks, they're a puppy. We've got to let him be a puppy. You can't be hard on him. You can't be strict. You can't expect him to know things that they really got no business knowing at this age. So he's in the weeds. He's looking around. He was in the water. That's, that's basically all we're going to do today is just see if he'll hang out in the water. Watching him run free, he likes that. He really likes that because at home in town, we always got him on a leash. Well, one, you're supposed to have him on a leash, but two, we can also protect him from bigger dogs as well. So He's not much of a man-eater right now, but when he grows up, he'll have some really good markings on him, hopefully a really good attitude. And uh, I'm going to train him from start to finish. And actually, there really is no finish when it comes to training. It's, uh, it's an ongoing process. The little things that you do outside of a training session is still training. He's a handful but we're happy with him. So I'm gonna let him run around a bit, see if he'll go back near the water and then uh, we'll get up out of here. And yes, folks, there's coyotes out here. As you can see, this was left, no. And he left the carcass of his fish. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Hey, what was that? Get out of here. You're all wet. You're all wet. What was that? Come. Sit. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Sit. Good fella. Go get him. All right, folks, that's a short video today. I wanted to introduce you to our newest family member of Johnsonville. Hey, buddy, let's go. Very happy we got this little guy. Um, I'm going to be training him, from, like I said, from start to finish. I'm going to bring you along for that journey as well. Some of the do's and don'ts. I'm sure I'll make some mistakes, but I'm going to try and rely on some of my past experiences with my bigger partner. You ready? Are you ready? You wanna go home? All right, folks, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, it's probably pretty short, but this is Diesel's introduction to water. Not to say he likes it. Uh, maybe next time we come down, I'm going to bring another one of his toys, maybe throw it out in the water a little bit, see if he'll go out and get it and come back. we got to work on the retrieving a little bit. Uh, like I said, he's a Shepherd Lab mix. I don't know if he's going to want to retrieve ducks or protect the house. Either way, I'm good with it. Folks, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're here. Ring the bell. Please share the video. It helps us get in the suggested section of YouTube. And, uh, <laughs> what's the matter? He's just ripping. Anyway, it helps us get suggested in the uh, YouTube algorithm, and I appreciate it. And I would appreciate that very much. So for Diesel and I, thank you all for watching. Stick around for more dog training videos. Oh, yeah, we're doing it all. Fishing, hunting, dog training, coffee. We got it all. Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate it. And then leave a comment down below if you got any other tips that you want me to experiment with him and or tried and true methods that work for you, uh, let me know because I'd be happy to uh, employ them here and see if they work. So for Diesel and I, we'll catch you all in the next one. Later.
what do you want? What do you want?